Hey up troops, hey Littleton here again with another video for the Astrali Sorsic YouTube channel. And And I think that gives it away. This time, we're going to be looking at Echo. Since Echo got nerfed, I really don't see people play him that much, but he is still incredibly good, incredibly strong in clutch situations if you use your drone sensibly. So let's just get stuck into some basics about Echo, and then also some of the best spots to use his Echo drones, and the best way to keep him hidden from the attackers. As always, it's enough of me waffling on. Let's get stuck into it. So the first one we'll show you is over here on uh, on Clubhouse. Now it's defending top four, and where you want to get the drone ultimately is is uh, just on that tire there, the other side of that pipe. So throw it on the floor, line it up with the pipe. It takes a couple of tries because you can't see right above you. Um, just a little bit further forward, just there. That's a perfect angle. If you bear in mind the um, the gadget is outlined in uh, in wide there, so it's very obvious for us to see. As you're pushing up here, you're certainly not looking up there. And the, uh, the cam can give you a view of all of garage, bottom garage, and you can stop the default plant by uh, yeah, just using the echo drone on that spot there. With the second drone on this side, I tend to get quite aggressive with it. So you've got a really fast line from the I play in cache, and you can go from cache straight out into sort of top red area, and then you can peek the breach as well to see what's going on out there. Don't spend too long here because the echo drones are quite loud, and anyone playing out there will hear it quite quickly. But if you want to know how many people are on the breach, if you've got information there's two somewhere else and you can peek outside and go, oh yeah, there's that many there, and dip back inside. The best place for it in uh, in cash though, once you're trying to defend properly, is, uh, is probably up here so you can see into construction as well. Just a quick general tip whilst I'm on a map with a, uh, a hatch. Not everyone knows you can actually send an echo drone up and out of a hatch and it's most used on cafe I've seen. Um, if you drop the, uh, the echo drone in here, it'll go up to a certain level, have a look outside and then it'll bob back down. So you can go up, get the information, and it'll come back inside the map. Imagine how strong that is when you're around um, cafe with the two hatches on the on the top floor. So this one's for basements on Clubhouse. Um, as you can see, I've, I've prepped this wall as you would normally find it. A line of sight, a reinforcement, and a rotate. But what I've done here is shotgunned out the top of the wall. Now, if you don't bring the shotgun on Echo, um, ask one of your teammates. You'll generally have a smoker, a mute, or a maestro, or something. Just shotgun out a couple of lines of sight at the top of that wall. What you then want to do is throw your echo drone up to hit this part of the ducting. It'll land on top of that. You then want to go as close as you can to here, a little bit off, and then up to the ceiling. That'll lock in. What you can then see from there is sound calls for all blue, and you've got a decent view of blue as well. You can actually see anyone dropping down from uh, from Adam or Secret, whatever you want to call it. You can see that there. And then the line of sight you've also got as well is right into Moto and a couple of the default plants around Moto. So if I'm coming through Moto door, you can see me here. Oh, spin that round. <laughs> you can see me there. You can call someone coming in. If I'm planting behind the bar or behind the flight cases, you can see I'm planting there. And you can fire your drone over to get me off the plant. So I just want to use this part of the video to just say very quickly, 75% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. Do me a favor, hit that sub button. It makes my day, it definitely makes Astralis' day. And if you don't like the next video, you can always unsubscribe. But for me, and I'm sure the rest of the creators will as well, we'll make sure you do like the next video. Thanks in advance. Cheers. So we're downstairs on Bank. This one's been around for absolutely years, even bef before the uh, the Bank rework, but I'll show you anyway. So the, the default breach is open, and you're normally going to get like a Thermite or uh, someone backing up to try and plant in here. What you can do is throw your drone right into the corner here of this uh, little alcove, spin it around, make sure you're in the corner, and get up onto the ceiling. The drone is then hidden behind this beam. You can't actually see that from here. And if you're here wondering where the drone is, we can't see it. If you're here, we can just about see it. What you're then going to be able to do is stop anyone who's on the default plant here. This this spot, once someone's got control of the server and they've opened this wall, is notoriously difficult to stop. So what I'll do some rounds is I'll even put both drones up there to cover that. And it just means I'll have four shots in terms of echo um, concussion nades of stopping the plant. And by the time someone's been hit twice, they think, right, well, that's it now. They haven't got any more echo concussion shots. You've got another drone up there to give them two more. Really try and disrupt the attackers. So another one for top four on bank, and again, this is more of an intel uh, yokai than it is anything else. You take it all the way down to uh, the loan office, line it up with the middle of the settee, essentially. Step back a tad from the settee, and up it goes. It takes forever to get to the top, but once it's up there, obviously, you've got the information you're getting. You're getting all of lobby, 
banana stairs and you can see right the way through to janitor door and anyone coming out of stock or coming up top main really 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 useful drone it's just one of those that maybe later in the round you probably want to look at getting a little bit closer to size so you can actually use the yokai's um disruption ability or just keep it there all round for unbelievable intel i mean come on how good does that look did you know you can get the astralis pro league skin in the shop today all you have to do is go up to shop scroll down to esports right here click on your favorite nal team top left which is obviously astralis click on the jackal skin and there it is you can get it from there the really cool thing about this as it says there is 50 percent of the proceeds of this go into supporting the org so not only do you get to run around looking cool in your rank games or your casual games or whatever it is you're playing you directly support the org and directly support the players coaches and all the staff involved with it as well jump on it so a top four on cafe and this one is absolutely excellent however i will say now this isn't my original idea i saw this in a pro league game I'm fairly sure it was liquid, but I'm not 100%. But anyway, we've reinforced the wall here as you normally would. And we've shotgunned out the top. I've got the shotgun with me. If you've got a mute or a smoke, if you want to use the MP5, ask them to shotgun the top out. Get a little bit closer to the wall. Throw the drone so it hits the top of the wall first, and it'll just sit up there. Then look at this view that you get all the way across long bar into shop and under new. Look at that. Now what I'll do is I'll give you the attacker's perspective. And it's, it's basically impossible to see. There's no way that you know that's there. Um... You obviously, we know he's there, but what a view that is of the, the, the entirety of that side there. Another absolutely excellent spot for Echo on Cafe Top 4 defense is if you shoot out the bar, which is quite easy to do even with the MP5, shoot it out all the way around the front and the back. If you then throw your Echo Drone inside the bar, I said if you then throw your Echo Drone inside the bar, and just drop it down to the floor, don't put it up to the top of the bar straight away, Keep it on the floor, listen for the audio cues of which side the plant is. Pop the drone up, get them off the plant, and pop it back down. The first thing the attacker is going to do once they get off the plant here is go, Where's that echo drone here? Where's that gone? The, unless they're aware of the trick already, the last place they're going to be looking is under this bar. So we're top floor in Oregon now, and all I've done is shot out the two top drawers. Definitely shoot both drawers out so it matches. If you just shoot one out, it, it looks a bit obvious. Go prone, aim your drone into the drawer, and it'll land there. Spin it round and back it up into the draw. You can see trophy door, but don't um, expose yourself too much to that because it's quite obvious to see. When an attacker's coming through the breach, you've got the information that they're coming through because you can see it on the cam from this angle. When you see them coming in for the plant, wherever they might be going, you've then got to react quickly, get the drone off, drop it down and get them off the plant. Ow! Another one for the same site, and this is a great intel drone, but people coming from Attic will usually find it before it's any use if they uh, if they take Attic. So whilst it's there, you can stop the default plant behind the games table. You can see all of kids pretty much, and you can stop the plant by firing that behind the bed if they go there. But you can also see the entry into big window through the usual rotate on the left-hand side of that wall. I think this is a really, really solid drone and a really good cam spot. Um, but yeah, it's up to you which one of those two you want to use, really. We're downstairs now in Oregon. This is another great uh, Echo Cam or Echo Drone in my opinion. So you normally have this wall reinforced. and you, I know the hatch doesn't normally open. The hatch is reinforced. But I've made a line of sight on this one wall here on the right hand side. Put the cam on the floor here. Send it up to the ceiling. And what you can see from here is blue if, bit of blue if need be. You can also then see the hatch drop and to default plan to get them off there. Their first reaction if someone's planting there and they get off the drone is to look around here and go where's the drone? can't see the echo drone the last thing they're going to do is look through there bear in mind it's not going to have a white haze around it for them either okay we're upstairs on consulate i've made the usual uh, reinforcements in the middle of the connector wall and i've made the rotate on the left hand side but i've also opened up a bit more of the wall above what i'm then going to do is throw the yokai drone onto the cabinet there and connector step it out a tad so it sticks to the ceiling we can now see connector window We've got sound calls into uh, in projector, but crucially we can see CEO windows and the jump in, and we can stop the default plant. So whilst we're on consulus, I use this one sometimes, but I don't think it's as strong as others. Put it behind the uh, and the ceiling fan so it's fairly well hidden if you're coming from security through this line of sight. But when it's up there, it's just going to be a pretty decent intel drone, really. You're not going to be able to stop the plant because it's going to be too far away at the garage, but you can see the right-hand side of the garage door. You can see security doorway, and you can see kitchen door as well. Now... All you've got to do is create a couple of lines of sight with the shotgun. Obviously, if you play the MP5, you're going to have to ask a teammate to do it for you, or this might not be the best position for you. Okay, we're on top floor on Chalet, and this one is not spicy at all. It doesn't take any massive setting up or any long lines of sight. It's dead simple, but it's super effective. So you go over to the sofa, make sure you throw the drone on the sofa, turn it around, come to the edge, 
And what you want to be doing is keeping the um, the breach so you can see ankles, but see you behind this beam as well. So probably a little bit further forward there. So you can see somebody vault through by the feet if you need to, so you can make the call that they're in. And then as soon as they go to plant behind, uh, as you can see from here, you can see my feet. And as soon as I go to plant on half wall, you'll be able to see that. And you can also get me off the plant. From there as well, obviously, you can also watch the balcony door. Um, and anyone coming in from piano or rotate, whatever it might be. But just a really, really solid drone. Takes very little setup time. And will win rounds if you can get somebody off the plant behind half wall. Now, the second one downstairs on Shelly, I actually really enjoy playing. What I'll do is I'll... Don't throw it in the corner, because you want to keep it as close to uh, to cover as you can. So don't put it over here, because if an enemy sees it, they could, you've got nowhere to take the drone. If you're this side and you just keep the door, door just there, and they see it, you can bob it down and get it into safety if need be. I'm going to travel all this distance as well. But I'll keep it here as standard and keep an eye on the trench area. And then what I'll do is I'll aggressively play the drone and move it over to this drone hole and keep an eye on blue. Sometimes I just leave it here for the first minute or two of the round just so we can watch blue. And then what I'll do is if I know someone's trench, I can turn it around, get to the ceiling, concuss them, get back through the drone hole, keep an eye on blue still, and just aggressively play this drone. I think it works really well. So there we have it. That's Echo. A really, really strong operator when used correctly. I don't think he's as good as he once was, but that doesn't mean he's still viable in some situations and on some sites. For me personally, I've put my own tips and tricks content on my own YouTube channel, which is above us as we speak now. I also stream on Twitch four days a week, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 p.m. UK time. So it'd be good to see you over there too. Other than that, as always, it's a massive thank you to Astralis for having me, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.